Hi parents, it's Teacher Michelle. So, I don't know how you've all been feeling, but right now, with all the talk of the coronavirus, uh, the uncertainty, uh, the unknown, it can be quite frightening. And I know we have a lot of feelings as adults. Well, so do your children. And I don't know if you've picked up on any differences in them. Um, they usually are pretty good at paying attention. If you have the news on, or they're, they're always listening. So um, be aware of that um, and see if there, you notice any changes. Um, I wanted to do an activity that helps um, bring calm to not only um, children, but adults too. And this is really good in the classroom for their um, social emotional skills and sensory. Um, our kids in our class love to make sensory bottles. I have quite a few in my class. Um, this one, I haven't, this is a big one though. I usually don't prefer this size. There's a smaller one. Um, it's called Voss. This is, I prefer this bottle, but it's going to probably cost like just under $2 and for the water in the stores for this. But it has a nice lid and I usually put package tape around and I haven't seen anybody try to uh, bother it in the classroom. And we've made um, many different sensory bottles, whether it's um, sand and water and ocean. Um, they love the, um, the glitter. Um, the water beads you can get at Dollar Tree. Those are awesome too to put in there. I even have some with hair gel in there that makes it thicker with the toys. And then you can always put, oops, hit myself on the nose. You can always put pom-poms and other things in there. But first of all, I wanted to show you uh, a wonderful video. I'm not gonna show you the whole video, but I want you to see where you can um, sign into it. And it's not coming up. Let's see, Let's see if I can get it to come up. Okay, it did. Okay, it's called Just Breathe. Um, I'll show you a picture with a little girl. Just Breathe by Julie Bayer Salzman and Josh Salzman um, by Mindful Schools. So I just want to give you a little taste of what it is. I get really mad when my brother hits me a lot. I don't like it when you mm -hmm. say you don't want to play with me. When I'm mad, my brain can get a headache and it can start hurting your blood keeps pumping because you're like really mad and you start to get sweaty because you're getting really really mad and then when you start getting really mad you turn red when your body can't really control yourself mad just takes over your body i just get out of control it's kind of like if you had a jar, and then the jar would be your brain, and then you put glitter in the jar, and that would be how you would feel. Like. If you shook up the jar and the glitter went everywhere, that would be how your mind looks. And it's like spinning around, and then you don't have any time to think. And you sometimes punch stuff and people when you don't really mean it. is the video it's a it really is a good video and calming and they talk a lot about different feelings and you have adults in there um basically just teaching how to take a deep breath and i used to have a really nice big snow globe i used i gotta find it in my teaching stuff they basically like she was talking about the glitter in the jar see that it's your mind when you have all well this one doesn't have as much glitter but when when your mind is all fuzzy and you have all these things going on in your head, you can't think clearly. But once, you know, you wait and you take a deep breath and you get calm, then you can see clearly. So that's the idea with the calming bottles. I've had parents really love these, you know, to have them um, for their child. It's the closest thing, unless you can, you have a snow globe, you could do that too. But this is a great activity to do with your children. So you can, you know, get the smaller ones, those. Um, just make sure, these are juice bottles. This was a water bottle, little one. Um, 
just make sure afterwards if you don't tape it with clear packaging that um, maybe if you have super glue or hot glue to so they can't open it okay and it's really easy to do um, do the calming bottle all you need is water honestly water and glitter nothing fancy there's all kinds of sensory bottles you can make that have um, you know you can put oil and they can see the difference and predict what's gonna happen when they put the oil in um, and and all the different items so I have bought this is pretty cool Dollar Tree has these I feel like I'm always promoting Dollar Tree but um, this is glitter glue that's pretty cool too because they can see it just squiggle in there okay so there's the water and they can learn to measure how much water did it take? How much water do you think it's gonna take to, put in, to fill it up and glitter? I like the blue for this. Um, oh wait, sorry, the color first. It's not gonna take very much. You don't want it too dark so you can see the glitter. It's probably just like a drop of food coloring. So this would be a real challenge for your child. <laughs> If that one drop, because they're probably going to want to put a lot. See, ooh, it already looks cool just going down. Look at that. See, this is just so cool for kids. Okay. And you could shake up the color to make sure you got the color you like. And then you can add the glitter. Kids love glitter. Oh my gosh, you'll find glitter everywhere. Okay, so just put some glitter in. Oh, way cool. Oh, it's kind of subtle on the top. I have to experiment with this. I've seen many, lots of recipes for this. They have. Did you see how it's swirling around? And you take three deep breaths. Watch it start coming down. watch it and they love these things uh they could put seashells on them i mean there's just so many things you can do with them little toys okay so that is your calm calming bottle sensory bottle it's good for their fine motor to help you their scientific inquiries you know pre making predictions what they think is going to happen with the color and the glitter and the water the measuring and the social and emotional and their regulation skills learning to balance those emotions. Another thing we love in class, taking the deep breath, is doing birthday candles. So they hold their candle, take a deep breath, and then blow out our candle. And after we do that three times, we're a lot calmer. It's gonna be helpful for you too. And I encourage you to look up that video, see what you think of it, and see if you wanna share it with your child too. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and maybe later I'll do some more sensory bottles because I just love them. There's so many ideas.